I think the first thing to do is to install this little spring down this channel. Just push it in there and it snaps into place. Then you want to get the rack and the pin, the locking pin, into place. Once that is in place, the next step is to get the new sector gear. And the way that I think this works best, I was going to try to install it with the uh, with a switch, but that is not working very well for me. So what I think the next best approach is to slide this thing in place here, facing in this direction. And you want to get it started here. And as you push this one toward the assembly, you want it to slide about halfway up the, uh, the rack because this is at an angle. And uh, once you pull here, you can see how it kind of kind of works and I believe the after that is in place I don't know why this little guy here this spring is not wanting to stay in place so I'll address that later this is all I am dry fitting this whole thing I also modified this um, switch so I can now uh, use it just for testing. Next, what you want to do is once this is in here, the, um, the switch here has a channel and these two tabs, so you want to insert them in there And as you can see here, it goes straight into the uh, sector gear. Now, with this in place and with the key in, if you turn it to the start and then it kind of goes back to the run position, this is operational. Then when you close it all the way to remove the key, let me see if I can do this. Flip it around. See, when you turn the key, the locking pin retracts. And when you put it back to lock, it snaps out. That's how this little system works. And again, this is just kind of dry fit it in here. I'm going to lubricate everything after. I have to take this whole thing apart again because I want to uh, strip the old paint, repaint it, and then I'm going to loop the, the whole assembly so everything kind of works properly. And I want to make sure that that spring is also doing what it's supposed to do. Right now I don't think it is, or at least not doing it very well. 